Well, the 2020 holiday season celebrations are now underway at the Walt Disney World Resort. We start with the Magic Kingdom, the character cavalcades. Once again, back for, you know, a holiday theme. Uh, some of the Christmas parade floats are now in their you know holiday best, along with characters in their holiday costumes and Christmas time music as well. Now, we do have some of the floats from the uh, Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party Parade uh, that also show up along with Santa who rides in his sleigh. Uh, down the parade route. Now, remember, th- there's no schedule when it comes to these cavalcades of the Magic Kingdom. They randomly show up because, of course, Disney does not want people gathering in large groups, getting ready for a parade and stuff like that. That's why they do them randomly. But it's something that you can enjoy. Just listen for the music throughout the Magic Kingdom. When you s- slightly start to hear it, it will gradually get louder and louder. You know one of those cavalcades are on the way. And with the Disney characters being there in their holiday costumes and everything else, it, it just really makes it extra magical. And I hope that you can check those out. Also, the Dapper Dance are continuing to perform from time to time, along with the holiday trolley that is going up and down Main Street, USA. The Main Street Philharmonic marches through the park, joined by some toy soldiers as well. And there is no holiday dream lights this year. Okay, hold on. Before you get too upset, what Disney decided to do is this year, Cinderella Castle is lit up with holiday projections. And those projections, they change at about 15-minute increments. So some new opportunities for some great holiday photos right there at Cinderella Castle. So you want to check those out. Now, the holiday decor that debuted last year, along with the traditional Christmas tree, are all returning to Disney's Animal Kingdom this year. Uh, You've got the character flotillas, is what they call them, that have been appearing uh, on a random schedule. Again, these these things are just not set in stone as to when they come out. Uh, But they're over on the Discovery River since the park's phase reopening. And, of course, have a holiday theme and also soundtrack as well. Now, one of the flotillas <laughs> is Donald's Dino Bash Festive Flotilla featuring Chip and Dale with a jingle through the jungle type of theme. Everybody seems to like it so far. Discovery Island drummers are also appearing and Santa Claus appears from time to time as well. Now, Disney's Hollywood Studios is also decorating for the holidays. It continues its character motorcades going up and down the area there. Also, is Santa is going to be riding around in a red convertible. It has a lot of presents. I mean, it is packed (laughs) all the way to the top with presents. Also, there's an entourage of elves that make an appearance. Then you've got the Frozen sing-along for the holiday finale that features Olaf that is going on. Then for nighttime, and I love this, Nicole loves it as well, you've got the projections that return to transform the Hollywood Tower Hotel into the Hollywood Holiday Tower Hotel. As usual, there is a lot of merchandise, holiday merchandise to choose from at the Walt Disney World Resort this year. And they are available at all of the major shopping locations around the parks, the reopened resort hotels, and of course, Disney Springs. Now, not all of us can make it to Walt Disney World during the holiday season. So guess what? Some of these holiday merchandise options that you're interested in are also available online over at Shop Disney. Disney.com if you want to check those out. It's a good opportunity to create some holiday merchandise, I guess. Disney Springs, well, they're also doing stuff. I told you, there's a lot here. It began its holiday celebrations this past week. Now, this year, instead of the Christmas tree trail, they have what is called the Christmas tree stroll, which is presented by Advent Health. And it is spread out elaborately, as Disney called it, uh, the elaborately decorated Disney-themed trees throughout all of Disney Springs in that area. Now, there's going to be a DJ playing music by the day, and then in the evening, you're going to see stilt-walking toy soldiers that are back, and also skating snowflakes. 
And plus, everybody's favorite during the holiday season, Snope. Disney soap is going to be falling at surprise locations. Don't know where it is as of right now. Then later on in November, Santa and Mrs. Claus are going to be cruising Lake Buena Vista from a pair of colorfully decorated pontoon boats. Lots of things at the Walt Disney World Resort, along with the decorations and all the other stuff. It is a fantastic time to go and check it out. So have you ever wanted to stroll the Avenue of Angels? which are aglow with more than 3 million lights, maybe have some delicious treats, and enjoy the accessible rides and storybook attractions that have brought the happiness and hope to critically ill children and their families from around the world for 34 years. Are you interested? What am I talking about? Well, I'm talking about the Night of a Million Lights at Give Kids the World Village. From Friday, November 13th through Sunday, January the 3rd, Night of a Million Lights will transform Give Kids the World whimsical storybook village into a dazzling winter wonderland. More than 3 million glittering lights will immerse guests in a festive kaleidoscope of sight and sounds, including a shimmering 150-foot tunnel leading to 45 exquisitely decorated Wish Family Residential Villas, more than 50 larger-than-life holiday-themed wireframe displays, and enchanting incandescent gingerbread arches, and an out-of-this-world space-themed decor, uh, decor adorning the village's delectable new centerpiece, Henry's Starlight Scoops. This is absolutely fantastic. I love this. Admission for all guests of all ages includes complimentary ice cream and hot cocoa, as well as unlimited access to the village's wheelchair accessible rides and attractions lavishly decked out for the holidays. Additional food and beverages, as well as special edition holiday merchandise, is available, which includes 3D glasses that bring every magnificent bulb there to life. You've got to see it to believe it. Those are available for purchase as well. There's also an appearance by Santa and other special surprises that will make this Central Florida's most beloved new holiday tradition. You don't want to miss it. Night of a Million Lights will take place from 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. daily with staggered entry times to promote social distancing, of course. Now, masks are required for all guests. You do have to wear a mask. Proceeds from the event will support Give Kids the World's mission to provide wish vacations for critically ill children and their families. To find out more and to get tickets, visit gktw.org slash events. I'm Jeff Davis. This is Sorcerer Radio's Disney 411 News. Have a magical day.